so let's do the quiz this is what have you learned what have i learned from this week okay so stopping the action is useful in what type of photograph i think mm, a close-up b sport or c portraiture that bb two when should you decide on the size of your image after you take the image during the shot or before you start that's that's before you start or well, this is my question what i think and then we'll go through right the crop tool allows you to what to your photo remove any unwanted bits change the color of the main subject enlarge the whole image uh, remove unwanted bits whilst taking photos of someone at work you should do what try not to distract them give them instructions about what you want them to do give in the way as much get in the way as much as possible that stay out of the way try not to disturb them how many legs are there in a tripod three try is free right. six lines in a photo such as horizontal sh horizon sorry should do what to the viewer guide their eyes around the image leave them disrupted disrupted stop them from dwelling too long at single spot i think that is a guide their eyes around the image what does the aperture do it controls how long the shutter stays open it selects the shooting mode it controls the amount of light that enters the camera c under exposure and only exposing an image does what to the subject that are licked from behind makes the sky turn dark picks every detail on their face turns them into silhouettes that is turn them into silhouettes nine a high irs setting lets you shoot what type of light low light bright light flashing light that is low light well, that's what I think <laughs> which shooting mode allows you to apply the extra setting extra setting which you want to use so what A auto B manual or shutter priority B manual what can you see when you look through the viewfinder the image as it appears through the lens an upside down version of the image a negative version of the image that would be a shutter priority mode controls what aspect of the camera the side of the aperture whether or not whether or not the flash works how long the shutter stays open see which part of the model should you focus on when taking a portrait shot the hair the eyes the chin that's the eyes a slow shutter speed will provide what effects fast and moving subject free and fast moving subject Turn the image black and white, creating a blurred effect. That will be C. What size of aperture pro produces a deep depth of field? A small aperture, a medium size aperture, a large aperture. And that's a small. So let's answer. Let's see what I've got right. So I've written down the bottom of my sheet actually just there so for one I got B and that is correct for two I got C and that's correct 
for three I've got A and that's correct for four I've got A and that's correct for five I've got B and that's correct for six I've got A and that's correct for seven I've got C and that's correct for eight I've got C for nine I've got A and that's correct C is correct that's for the last one ten I've got B and that's correct A eleven I've got A and that's correct twelve I've got C and that's correct thirteen I've got B and that's correct fourteen I've got C and that's correct and fifteen I've got A and that's correct so I've got all of them right I think what I should do on the next one is maybe do it at the start and see how many I've got at the start to the end so I may do that next time so answer the questions and then do it learn about it and then I can answer the questions again see what I've actually learned but yeah I've got 15 out of 15 so I have learnt a lot